wilderness. The time has come for us to leave New Zealand. All things considered, for our upcoming 14 hour flight, we have something that we're doing that we're pretty excited about. Yeah. Yes. A flight got inside. A flight got inside. Oh my God, what are you All right, we gotta drop off this RV. There's a fly in here, it's been compromised. Everybody out. Yes. Thank you, baby. Um, were the wheels aligned properly? Yes. Okay, and were there any warning lights on the dashboard? There were. Warning lights are bad. Were there any bad lights? Yes? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love when airports have little kids areas. I mean, this is just like a room with a colorful wall, but there's cartoons on a TV. So Ellie is happy. Eli is probably running the wrong way through security right now. That's his style. Since we rerouted our road trip through New Zealand to avoid the rain, we have a quick flight from Christchurch to Auckland and then a 14 hour flight from Auckland to Houston. Heath and I, always buy economy flights. We've never flown business class or first class or anything fancy at all. I don't think we've even really flown economy plus. Unless you count having a bassinet, that's always a plus. But Air New Zealand does something with their economy seats that's pretty cool. They have something called the Sky Couch. So you have a row of three and it somehow folds down or pops up and creates a couch slash basically a bed. So for a small fee, you can upgrade to the Sky Couch. Not at all similar to the cost of like a business class. Lie flat type seat, but much more affordable. So we have two Sky Couches for Heath and Ellie to share one and for Eli and I to share one and hopefully get some good sleep on this extra long flight. This is about to be the longest flight the kids have ever taken. So this guy couch was kind of necessary. After a short flight from Christchurch to Auckland, we found a lounge where we could spend our afternoon enjoying limitless food while Eli napped and Ellie hung out in the kids' room. Then it was time to board our overnight flight to Texas. like every other row so far. So we have a little reserved sign. And this, which shows you how the leg rest works and tells you to not stick your head out so that the cart will hit you. I think I read somewhere that the flight attendant will come over and like show you how to do it and make the bed up. Cause there's this huge bag of bedding underneath the seats that I'm assuming. <laughs> I can also feel the, um, there's like the leg yeah, resting that I pops up over here. Yeah, I can see it down there. Assuming it's frowned upon to do this before we take off. Okay, it's kind of turbulent right now. She said I could go ahead and set up the bed. All you have to do is push a button to pop up the leg rest and they lock into place. And all the bedding has a little cover and then two really big pillows which is awesome because my biggest concern already was that these little guys were not going to work with the little gap between the chair and the wall. Unpacking all the bedding and setting up the sky couch while sitting on it wasn't easy. This is weirdly difficult. After laying down the mattress padding to go over the seats, I made sure the blankets were also under the seat belt so the flight attendants could always check on them. Okay, Hila and I are ready for bed. Sleepy. This is actually very comfortable. Eli just hates everything. Yeah. 
Once those cabin lights were dimmed, the kids and I passed out on what felt like our shortest, easiest overnight flight yet. This says scrambled eggs. That does not look like scrambled eggs. Oh, good morning. Let me see. Eli, how did you sleep, dude? You got a juice box? You slept great. That was the, e I mean, the flight's not over, but that was the easiest flight ever with the kids. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're spilling juice everywhere. I was too big to sleep next to Ellie, so I just like sat regular, slept regular in the chair, but Alyssa was all cozy next to Ellie. I mean, Eli. I am short. I couldn't like stretch out all the way, but I almost could. The kids definitely could. As far as super long cross ocean flights go, I would recommend the Sky Couch. 10 out of 10. I mean, again, we've never flown business or first class. I, not on a flight internationally. That's true. Such a bragger. <laughs> but to have two rows for us all to sleep and stretch out. Amazing. All right, bye, Eddie. Bye. Started, and one of the things when I got the job was they said, I oh, just watch all our videos on YouTube. Oh, <laughs> no, the they did it. The first movie I saw was yours. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh.